Today we tried creating the most epic feast we will ever eat, but the only way to find out if we were successful is to eat it all. Yeah, no, this is a lot of our favorite food, so we're gonna get right into it today, starting with this authentic deep dish pizza. Oh my God, this looks good. Let's see if we can get a cheese pull. Knife, you gotta cut. We got one. We got it. Sick, good enough for me. All right, that was far more of a process than I thought it would be. Yeah. Check this out. This is legit deep dish. Yeah. All right, I kept I kept two together, so I didn't. Ah, <laughs> uh, drop the sauce everywhere. Ooh. We got a cheese pull on the channel. Yes. All right, now and there's sauce all over my boxes. Let's all right. get into this. It's the best pizza you'll ever eat. Wow. We're gonna save the crust, because we have a plan. Don't you worry. I'll show them one more slice before it's gone forever. There is so much mozzarella in this, it's unbelievable. More than like mozzarella sticks, look. This is from Cecilia's in Providence, Rhode Island. And it's as good as we're ever gonna get, you know? It's the perfect amount of sauce, the most epic amount of cheese, and like the best, most flaky, buttery crust of all time. You can't beat it. Yeah. The first spiritual experience of the day has been had. <laughs> and if you're a real member of the Takedown Tribe, then you probably already know what's coming for that pizza crust in a little bit. But up next, we could not assemble the best meal we've ever had if we did not have cookies. And we've never had cookies that look like this on the channel. Yes. All right, we've got four different flavors here and we've got a lot of food to get to, so maybe we should start with two and then come back to the others. Sounds good. I'm thinking we start with the confetti and the M&M. Let's do it. So this is from a place called Feed the Cheeks in Providence, Rhode Island. we will put my pizza crust in here. Oh, that's a good idea. Mine's just hanging out on the table. Which do we start with? All right, I'm thinking we start with the confetti. All right, all right. These are fat cookies. All right, check this out. Oh my gosh, these are so heavy. All right, let's see if we can get a cross section going. Ready? Ooh. One more time. Give it what it deserves. Wow. The butter, the vanilla, the texture from the sprinkles. Unbelievable. My life is a whole lot better now that I've had this. Yes. The best cookies I've ever eaten. We're two for two so far. And the only problem is now we will never enjoy a meal this much for the rest of our lives. This is crazy. But next up, I'm thinking that we take down the product that like eliminates a whole bunch of our favorite things in one. Okay. Do you want to tell them what these are? This is going to get even crazier. Okay. These were sent over from our friends at the Fat Brownie Shop who essentially made our dream blondies because blondies are our absolute favorite. So much better than brownies in our opinion. Comment down below, blondies or brownies, and let us know which one you like more. But yeah, these monstrosities came to us from those guys, and I cannot wait to try this. They're pretty much us in a dessert. 
Do you want to take down one of each flavor right now? Let's do that. Okay, so here we've got this like Oreo cookies and cream one that's got like, got golden and regular Oreos. It's got marshmallows and it's got cookie butter. And then we've got a peanut butter one that has um, Reese, that has Reese's cups in it, Reese's pieces in it, nutter butters. It's got white chocolate. The thing is just loaded. All right, what flavor do you want to start with? Let's start with the peanut butter one, okay? Take a look at these things. Here we go. It has to be done. That's one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. I can't find any words. You guys need to go check them out. The links will be in the description box. Jeez. One more time. I just need to show them this butter. Holy cow. This next one's got a lot to live up to. Oh my God, holy cow. <clears throat> Not only are the owners of the Fat Brownie Shop the nicest people on the planet, they literally made maybe the best thing that has ever entered my mouth. <laughs> yeah, seriously. And they like they picked up on all the different things from our other videos. We told them to just surprise us with, uh, with what they wanted to make. And they literally nailed us to a T, got a bunch of our ba our favorite things into this thing. That's what made us settle <coughs> on this idea for this week's video, because these are the perfect favorite food for us. Yeah, seriously. All right, check this out. Again, like marshmallows, sprinkles. We got regular Oreos. We've got golden Oreos. I don't even know what else is in this thing other than cookie butter. Show them this, show, show them this shot. Okay. That one's already broken. I pray that you can, that you can see in this food close up just how crazy these things are. I think the peanut butter might be better, but it's a real close call. But so far, it is, it is hard to not high five everything. Oh my God. One last time. I've got nothing left to say. They're just one of the best things we've ever eaten. I don't even think that we mentioned the fact that each one of them was like 11 ounces each, like well over half a pound. And we still have two left. That's ridiculous. That is intimidating. Mm -hmm. But also, seriously, thank you so much to the Fat Brownie Shop for sending those over. This app's so blown away right now. Absolutely amazing. They're also both bodybuilders and prepping for a competition right now. So comment down below. Good luck, guys, to say good luck from the competition. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we have to keep moving and we have we have so much left. What do you want to do next? I'm thinking we go to a childhood favorite of ours. We grew up on this, there's a dairy farm pretty close to our house and we grew up on their baked goods because everything that they make, like all the cream, all the whipped cream, everything is straight from the cows on that farm. It's absolutely incredible. So we had to bring some of their pastries today. So let's do it, right to dairy farm. We've got three slices of cake here. One is a chocolate mousse cake with whipped cream. One is a, a cheesecake and like vanilla cake. And then we have the carrot cake. I think we start with the chocolate mousse. Sounds good to me. This is our mother's favorite cake of all time. All right, I'm just gonna get absolutely filthy and eat this with my hands. Incredible. Carrot cake? <laughs> Works for me. Definitely the easiest thing we've eaten today so far. Yeah. The only problem with succeeding at our goal of making the best meal we'll ever eat in our entire lives is that this is the best meal we've eaten and will probably eat in our entire lives. Yep. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> mm, it's 
glorious. I think I said this the last time our family got this for a holiday, but that reminds me of the best zucchini bread that you've ever had in your life. Like just like buttered zucchini bread, absolutely amazing. All right, next up, we have this like strawberry cheesecake vanilla cake thing. Okay, well, it's got like a marble cake, it's got uh, cheesecake, and it's got, I think, strawberry and whipped cream. I'm gonna eat the strawberry off top first. I'm eating with a utensil for this one. I think that's the winner. So oh, that's good. If you think the Cheesecake Factory is good, you haven't tried cheesecake from a local dairy farm. Holy cow, that is the best cheesecake of all time. Speaking of which, we do have a full slab of their just like straight cheesecake. Do you want to take that down now? Yes, I do. Okay. All right, I'm probably gonna eat this with a utensil, but I've got to show it to him with my hands. This is, I, I, again, the best cheesecake you will ever eat in your entire life. I don't even know how to describe it. It's so dense, but it's fluffy as can possibly be. You don't know creamy until you've eaten that. This, this might be the top quality item that we have today. Jeez. I almost feel bad about how many times we've said this is incredible and how much we absolutely love like every item that we've had so far. That just means we're accomplishing the objective of this video. We're doing, we've done a great job so far. I have no idea what to do next though. I do. I need to go back to that pizza crust now. And the last thing in this box to pair with it, okay? Now, of course, everyone that is, that is subscribed to our channel expected this sooner or later. Chive and onion, cream cheese. It is our favorite thing in the entire world. Our cream, cream cheese is one of our favorite things in the entire world. And uh, if, basically, if you watch Eric the Electric's channel, cream cheese is to us what ranch is to him. And it would have been impossible for us to have the best meal we've ever eaten if it did not include cream cheese. Yes. Let's get it on this crust. You have got to be one special kind of glutton to think this looks awesome, but we are. Check it out. Not that anybody cares to see this. Can't be bad. I'm gonna spruce these up just a little bit more. We went mostly with everything outside of the grocery store besides this cream cheese. We had to bring a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos because they are our favorite chips of all time. You'd assume we were stoned right now by the looks of this. Was it as good as the deep dish earlier? 
No. Was it still awesome? Yes. Well, cream cheese is always good. I definitely think that if there is one place that we fell short on this meal though, it was the utilization of the cream cheese. It could have been enhanced doing something else. I know there's probably food all over me right now. I'm just becoming more of a filthy person with the longer this channel goes on. Okay, I'm thinking that we uh, dive back into some of the cookies. Am I good now? Yes. All right, sweet. All right, the next ones that we have are a cookies and cream and a chocolate chip. I think I start with the cookies and cream. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Ooh, it's got white chocolate chips in it. Nice. Before we dive into the last one, seeing it's just classic chocolate chip, chocolate chip, I'm thinking about doing something or whipping out something that so many people have probably already said you should have had in the video. And that is milk. Someone was bound to say that we should have had milk for either the cookies or the blondies or something because people love to tell us what we should have done in their videos as if it's what we should have done, even though it's what you would have done <laughs> if you made this video. All right, I know this is a ridiculous container for milk, but we don't drink milk on the day to day because we are on a diet. And, uh, and so we had to borrow this from a neighbor. Which also, it's so funny saying you should have done something like this. By the time you comment that, this video's done. <laughs> There's no going back. So also, true. we just ate 50 American candy bars. <laughs> it's amazing the amount of people that said you should have brought this one. As if out of all 50, we missed the only one. The only one. one. <laughs> all right, here's the chocolate chip cookie. Oh yeah, that was good. That was a fun little late in the video rant. Okay, well, I guess I'll dunk it on camera. <laughs> really give it to all the people that would have told us we needed the milk. Look at that. Look how happy you are. Completely unnecessary, but worth trying. Mm -hmm. As much as I appreciate the generosity of being lent this milk, I'm done with it. I'm gonna be honest, I prefer the water. Yep. Maybe it's just like how much food we've eaten or how much food we eat, but I just find it better and more refreshing to have the water. Bodies. We have this little cup of frosting because we figured if it was gonna be the best meal of all time, we needed frosting in some capacity. And so do you wanna put it on one of the brownies? Sure, why not? Okay. Which one do you want to take down first? Ooh. Let's do the peanut butter one. Okay, frosting on that one or this one? I'm Let's do the frosting on this one. That's what I think too. I'm gonna to put it on now and then we'll eat that second. And if you're wondering where that little tub of frosting came from, they sell it for like 50 cents at the Wright's Dairy Farm <laughs> cash register. <laughs> and we were like, oh look, frosting. Sounds like a good idea. Okay, here is the peanut butter blondie again because once it's taken down, they're gone, they're gone. You gotta buy your own, custom order it from the Fat Brownie Shop. All right. It can't be as good as it is, but it is. Feeling it now. Dang, those things are so heavy. So epic, but so heavy. Woo. I'm gonna need a second. Oh. One more item. One more. You ready to finish this thing? Well, I guess we'll probably have to finish these too if we're including them in the challenge. We can eat them through the outro. We can do whatever we want. This is our greatest meal of all time. 
no need to rush. Alright, I'll show you guys this blending. Yeah, we had it frosting too. Because it wasn't epic enough to begin with. I should try to do the same. It feels so good to burp when you are this full. Oh, okay. May as well, may as well give them one last food close up. And again, as a thank you to the Fat Brownie Shop for sending us all these. Can't recommend them any more highly. I liked the first peanut butter one more than I liked this one, but between the second peanut round with the peanut butter in this, I'm enjoying this one more. So I think they get a tie. Best meal we'll ever eat food challenge. If you've ever requested a high five food challenge, we've got that quite a few times. You just got it. Yeah, but better. And I think one of the things that those, that those uh, that they're doing so well with those blondies is the fact that they are so like cookie-like and extremely buttery. I think like a problem with some like with a lot of store-bought uh, blondies is the fact that they're very cakey. And I do not like a very cakey blondie. Those things are exceptional. I had a great time. Absolutely loved everything. Yeah, I think my favorite two items, my two top items that I had to pick were the deep dish pizza and the peanut butter blondie. Mm. Um, I think those are my two favorites. As far as the Feed the Cheeks cookies go, I think my personal ranking on those is Funfetti, Oreo, M&M, chocolate chip. I would agree with that. I'm not positive on whether I'd go M&M and then Oreo, but either way, the chocolate chip is on the bottom and the confetti is on the top all day. Yeah. Anyways, that was a wild time. Yeah. Now, maybe one thing that we forgot to mention is the fact that because most of this stuff is local, exact calories can, are completely unknown. So everything, if we put any calories in the video, that's based off of estimates like on weight for comparable items. And so based off of like the weight of what the pizza was, because we weighed everything out beforehand, we were nice and diligent in that regard, it would just be the equivalent of the same type of uh, pizza that there is calorie information out on out there somewhere. Yeah, we've done baked goods a million times, so <clears throat> we're, we have fairly diligent information as to, for the weight that we had, what the like, comparable calories would be. So if we include it, yeah, just know that. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a like. Please make sure to check out the Fat Brownie Shop down with the links in the description box because they were absolutely amazing as far as the actual products go, as far as the people, and the fact that they sent those to us was so kind. As far as everything else we had goes, if you are ever in Providence, Rhode Island, I would highly recommend any of the places that we featured today. It was just, this menu was out of this world. Like we said, I'll be surprised if we ever eat a meal that good again. Yeah. Anyways, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like, please subscribe to the channel, comment something fun down below, and we will see you again in the next one.